today from Andy and I. It's come about because our eldest son has taken up an old hobby that he had when he was a kid um, and he's into painting um, war hammer and uh, gaming game um, models and whereas he used to use a little paintbrush he wanted to get into airbrushing so he has been using my airbrush um, which is a Harder and Steenbeck Ultra airbrush and this has always been Harder and Steenbeck's if you like beginner basic model brilliant airbrush it really is I find plug and play um, and it's easy to clean and it's easy to upkeep however he's been using mine but because he uses it intermittently he hasn't quite got the muscle memory for the two-way action on an airbrush and he struggles with it. Harder and Steenback have come up with a new model and it really is a basics back to beginning totally for teaching a beginner how to use an airbrush. So Tom has bought one and he's very kindly said we can unbox it for him and we'll show you this, the difference between the new model for 2024 and the old Ultra model. So this is my one of mine. I do have two of these. Your basic airbrush and it comes with two, two cups. This one is actually the Ultra Plus. So it came with a 0.2 and a 0.4 needle. Um, so I went with that. But I have actually also got an airbrush set up as a 0.4. It's still a harder in steam back and it's still an ultra. I find it helpful for me to have the two size needles. So let's open this one and see what's inside. Say so it is fresh, <laughs> fresh out of the mail. Um, we just saw the video there a minute. I just need to go and get a knife just to open the package. Now it is the base model, um, I'll have to find out from Tom how much he's actually paid for this. There are two models available and if you look for YouTube videos on this model you'll notice it's mainly gamers and, and people that paint game models that have been given this airbrush um, to showcase and it's got rave reviews and that's one of the reasons why Tom's gone for it so they do this version they're also doing a special gaming version as well Squidmar Squidmar that's the one um, Tom went for the, the there was a £10 difference in price and Tom's gone for the basic model so it's all sealed nice box And uh, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to, it's a 0.45 um, nib, a 5mm uh, cup, which I think is a small one, we'll check in a minute. And it's, it's aimed at the three things that annoy or can irritate beginners. One is airbrushes easily clog and it's to do with the paint drying around the needle. Um, so they've come up with a solution for that. It's about the control of your paint and air. So they've come up with a solution with that as well. And I forgot what the third thing was. But yeah, it's about teaching sort of muscle memory, really. And the, um, after using this one for a while, you should then be able to pick up any of their models or any airbrush and soon have control of it. So, slightly smaller box than my one. Not much in it. Not much, not much in it. So I'll we'll just open that up. So 
doing it the right way. So the logo goes at the top. So, so he, Harder and Steenbeck, um, you've got a code on the back there for instructions, spare parts and videos. And you just pop that smart code. Stylishly packaged, very simply packaged. I like the fact they've given you the larger cup. That's always handy. The nice thing about Harder and Steenbeck spares though, and accessories, they're all interchangeable between all the models. So you could get a smaller cup if you need one. Tom will probably end up borrowing one of mine, I'm sure. So this is the actual airbrush. So this is the new one. I'll take it, my one out, and that's the old one. It's slightly bulkier. I wouldn't say as much in weight, though. But it is slightly bulkier. So now my one, one of the things I did do with mine to help with the clogging, I swapped out the, um, the needle cover to one which I can pinch. Um, and this is from one of the uh, more professional um, Harder and Steamback pens, but it will fit on the Ultra and that has helped me. However, what they've done on this one, they've got a fully protective cover, so you've got little holes where you can see the needle. And those holes, what you can do is get a paintbrush in there. And as long as that paintbrush is um, nice and soft, don't want anything too abrasive, too harsh, you just need to wet a bit of water or a bit of airbrush cleaner and you can then poke through those holes to get rid of any paint because you'll see it. You'll see the paint clearly and if it's paint there it's dried on and you need to take it off. So that's one, one area that they've improved. The other area that they've improved is the control because with a two-way um, airbrush you need to push down for the air and pull back for the paint now what they have done is you can't pull back without pushing down there's a kind of a lock on it so you've got to push down for the air before it will let you pull back so already your muscles will start knowing that that's what it's got to do. Your finger has got to push down before it pulls back. Now, the other thing they've done is on this collar, which you'll notice I haven't got on mine, on this collar, there are settings. I'm just, the first time handling this, but actually that's really nice. When you have it with the the U, you've got control. So that is a standard ultra. You have total control over paint flow and how much air. If you wanted to lay down a lot of paint or a lot of stain, because I may mean this at people who I would say are into their wood turning or um, pyrography and who want to lay stain or colour onto wood. If you want to lay down a lot, you would use the prime and it's etched on there and it sort of, you feel it click in. This is for prime, this is laying down a lot of paint. So it will just let you come back enough that you've got the amount of paint you'll need. 
go around and if you wanted to lay a, a base colour um, say you were using stencils and you wanted to quickly lay down a base colour on the leaves of uh, a brown or a green base colour it lets you lay down a little bit less you've still got to push the button down but it's a little bit less and it's stepped then, then we start getting into the detail so a little bit more of a step again a little bit less paint less again so there's different degrees different levels that you can use according to how much paint in actual fact that starts one two three and three is the finest amount but you'll see that there is a step so that's the least amount going down to prime which is your, your better more coverage It's still got, if we take the back off, they've still got on the, on the needle, this is actually the back of the needle, this is the 0.4, it's 0.45 but 0.4 needle and they have four um, ridges and that tells you the size of the needle and um, they do a point two as well which just has two ridges and that's a standard indicator so you know which model you've got or which size needle you've got well engineered everything about harder and stick is very well engineered so it's very easy to take apart won't take it all apart because I'll let Tom do that. <laughs> so, but I'll show you one mine. The, the, it's a, a very well appointed airbrush. Very simple, very simple to use. But it feels substantial. Doesn't feel like it's going to break. You just fit your cup on there and then your air supply and you're ready to go but I think this this new way of you've got to push down before you pull back I think it's a, a super way of learning how to use an airbrush properly and you've got the advantages then as you get more advanced with it, use it more, you can slip it round and just have your your own control. So it's a bit of best of both worlds really. Mm.